to report on lessons learned from Africa and other world regions, and also identify key principles and practices to guide the sustainable management of environmental resources in the Nile and elsewhere. And we have assembled a very distinguished panel to help us uh, achieve these goals. Starting with Her Excellency, Dr. Yasmin Fouad, the Minister of Environmental Affairs of Egypt. Mr. Henk of Vink, who is a Dutch envoy to the UN for Floods. Dr. Hessam Alaskari, who is a professor at Chapman University in the US. Dr. Claudia Sadov, the Director General of IME in Sri Lanka. And Dr. Harry Linz, who is President of the WMO Commission for Hydrology. Before I have, uh, I ask the speakers to come and give us their talks, I'd like to say a few things just to frame the discussion a little. So why is climate change such a great challenge? I'll give you three good reasons why this is so. The first one is that it actually impacts the context within which all life exists. So the climate affects, uh, if the climate changes, uh, that implies that the atmospheric forcing on the terrestrial environment changes, like the precipitation, temperature, and other atmospheric variables. And that in turn means that the hydrologic response of the system will change, like stream flows and recharges to aquifers and the soil moisture and the evapotranspiration and sediment loads and the nutrient cycle. And then of course, these impacts are going to impact the, the built environment, the water energy infrastructure in the rivers. And of course, this way the whole system is going to be modified and altered. I have here in this schematic uh, the Nile Basin on the left, and also a portion of the built environment in the Nile, which is the eastern Nile uh, component, where uh, major developments are taking place and uh, need to be coordinated in a cooperative way. The second reason is that climate change not only impacts the natural environment and the resources, but also impacts all the socioeconomic sectors. And that includes uh, the urban industrial sector, agricultural sector, energy, environment and ecology, navigation, recreation, and all the other uses that humans um, uh, engage in with the environment and the use of natural resources. So the socioeconomy changes because of climatic change. And I'm not referring only to the water resources. I'm also uh, referring to other atmospheric variables, such as temperature, for example, uh, soil moisture, and the like, independently of the rivers and the flows. What is also complicating and challenging is the fact that there are feedbacks and interactions between these components. So for example, what we do and how we develop the land affects the hydrology, which affect the flows. And so there are feedbacks and cycles and interactions that makes climatic make climatic change a, a real challenge. And the last, uh, but not least, reason is that climate change uh, affects the way we manage resources. And so the man uh, management process uh, requires that we have a cooperative framework, we do socioeconomic assessments, we understand what impacts mean for each one of us and for whole sectors and the interactions between sectors, assess the benefits, risks, and trade-offs among all these sectors and uses, and finally decide in a cooperative and inclusive framework uh, how to, to address the, the challenge we have. So there is, there is the question of institutions. Are the institutions, for example, appropriate that we have at present, or there's another paradigm we should be thinking about to address climate change? And financing, investments, and of course, uh, the inclusion of all stakeholders that are impacted or impact the resources. So this is, this is really the, the, uh, the challenge. Uh, we have to understand 
and we have to, in a quantitative way, how climate change impacts all these three components. And we actually have to do it in an adaptive way. We do it uh, and we revisit this issue every five years, every so often, to make sure that what uh, our plans uh, indicate are still valid. And so that's why climate change is a real challenge.